day two. <laughs> Wanna go do some riding? Yes. Sun shining outside. This is our hotel room last night. We didn't show it to you guys at all. Nice hotel though. Nybrower Lodge. If you're ever in the area. Great breakfast. I said the bed was comfortable. Oh, bed. Okay, so what we have here is a bag, a saddlebag liner for a pre-2024 uh, bagger Harley Davidson saddlebag. Wondered if these would fit into the 2024 bag. And actually, <clears throat> the shape of these bags is different, but quite simply, yes, it will fit in there. We're at the Merritt Reservoir. We are on the Merritt Dam. First time we've actually got to take these bikes through some windier roads. They're not twisties. No. They're long sweeping curves, which is the best part about Just the sand hills favorite. of Nebraska. These things are crazy good. We're going through curves faster than we think we're going through them. A curve that you might have slowed down for at one time you just leave the cruise on and just go around the curb. The different ride modes, holy smokes, Jace, you are right. The different ride modes. Mine back on road, road mode, because the sport one was just too much throttle. I mean, don't don't get me wrong, I used it for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I like being able to switch through them, it's yeah. fun. Because once you have it on road mode, you hit that button one time, you're in sport mode. <laughs> out here in the sand hills, that's what's cool about these reservoirs out here in the sand hills. You are literally on the biggest deposit of sand in the Western Hemisphere. I mean, there's grass growing on it. I'll take you right over there and show it to you in a minute. Uh, but all of these lakes are have beaches around them because it's all sand out here. This is all, this is what all this area is. Sand with grass growing out of it. That's what this all is. 
Sand Hills of Nebraska. And it is awesome. So from Ravenna to here, uh, it's been raining, and since since Mullen, I get yeah, since Mullen, Thedford, we ran into. It's been raining. You guys will see it. Okay, let's go home. We're only like we're we're just a little ways from home. Let's go home. It is obviously a couple days later. You just saw us riding home from Valentine. So we were in the rain, didn't feel like uh, recording much <laughs> because we were like cold and stuff. Wet. And wet. It didn't have any rain here. The torrential downpour from Grand Island all the way back to York basically. And then you were already wet, so yeah. Fun fact though, that last clip that you guys just saw of me, um, I was freezing. Like I was uncontrollably shaking <laughs> because I went inside to go use the restroom and totally pure wet from head to toe, soaked to the bone, and they had their air conditioner blaring. And yeah, very, very cold when I came. It didn't warm up until I got home. But it was, it was an amazing time. Thank you all to everybody there in front of Harley Davidson. Uh, Chad and Rich for making this happen. Jace for showing Amy the bike and Monique for hooking her phone up and just everybody there for for the opportunity. It was it was amazing. Our review of the 24 touring bikes might be a little bit different than everybody else's um, because we uh, half of that ride was in the rain, so we really really got to use the different modes a lot, didn't we? absolutely did every single one and i used to always think that the mode thing was a gimmick it is not after using that rain mode that much in that rain like torrential rain like deep rain like you'd watch a car go through an intersection and water would go 
10 feet above it, above the car on both sides, and then we rode through that. One thing I will say for sure is that on the interstate, on the, on the curvy roads, in the rain, the bike performed excellent. Oh, absolutely. I didn't, I didn't feel one ounce of paranoia or like it was scary or at all. I mean, even with the deep water that we went through and all the, all the rain, I mean, it didn't stop at all. It just kept coming and coming. But comparing it to my deluxe, I mean, not that I'm scared riding my deluxe, but it's not as heavy of a, of a bike, and the street glide is a lot heavier, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, with saying that, I mean, it just, it lived up to its name. It just glided right through everything. Super, super nice. Comfortable. I mean, besides the getting wet part, but... And really, the only complaint, and her and I are kind of in an agreement about this, the only complaint we have is with the street glide with the handlebars. Right. Other than that, I mean, the suspension is phenomenal. And this is coming from a guy that's got legend suspension on my touring bike. I don't feel like it's a horrible suspension like the old ones where you had to change it. Is, is the legend suspension a little bit better? Yeah, I don't even know, to be honest with you. I don't even know if it's that much better. Uh, the hand placement with the handlebars on the road glide is phenomenal. The seating position is phenomenal. The seat even is phenomenal. <laughs> the riding modes are amazing. The screen is so much fun to play with while you're going down the road. The wind protection we, uh, we did the speed limit plus going down the interstate and through a lot of curves and stuff out in western Nebraska. Um, the bike gives you a confidence going through the curves and stuff. Um, I have never felt more comfortable on a stock bike before. And all in all, honestly, except for the normal exhaust, I don't think you have to change anything on that bike before you leave with it. The 117 has plenty of power. Uh, the handlebars are in a, a good spot on the road glide. Street glide, you would have to change them for taller bars. I would anyway. Amy would. <laughs> Other than that, I mean, the rest of it's cosmetic, you know? I mean, I would change some things, but I mean, it wouldn't need to be changed right away except for the bars. But I mean, you have to have a comfortable ride and the bars would really do that for me I mean it didn't hurt by doing it you know just riding it like it was but staying in that position the whole time yeah that was that was hurting my back quite a bit but really that's the only thing that I would have to change immediately I mean the suspension the seats the, I mean the seat was nice I will say once I got back on, or once I switched bikes with you and went on the road glide, I felt like the fairing was super farther away, but, and maybe it is, I don't know, but it just, the street glide fit me better, so that's why I wanted to just get back on that. Felt a lot more comfortable on it. The fairing is farther away on the road glide is a little it? bit. And you get a little bit more wind protection with the street glide. I think that Maybe just a little bit taller windshield on both of them Yeah, would be okay. Um, but like I said, we went down the interstate. Usually we get off the interstate of Grand Island when we're going up to the sand <laughs> hills. But we stayed on the interstate longer just because we wanted to. Just because it was fun. I mean, we're it having was. a lot of fun on those bikes. <laughs> and we had it in road, road mode at that time, didn't we? Yeah, I mean, I time. did. I didn't change it to sport or anything because I wanted to wait until I was you know, used to the bike a little bit instead of just jumping on and messing with everything. I was definitely on the sport mode when we started, when we left Grand Island, or when we left Valentine and started headed south on 97. Oh, right. I was in the sport mode then. So all in all, um, the new bikes are phenomenal. You just, you, I can't explain it. You need to go ride one. 
go to Frontier Harley Davidson, take one out on a demo ride. I know they've got two demos. One, of, they both got around 800 miles on them, unless they've <laughs> sold them already. Uh, I will say the green wasn't my cup of tea, but it was growing on me to the point where I didn't want to give it back. So let's let's uh, close out here with the obvious question, Miss Stevie. What's that? You don't have a touring bike at the moment. <laughs> at the moment. At the moment, is a 2024 touring bike in your future? Well, I will say this. A touring bike is in my future. And I'm just saying that because I am not done with my Deluxe. All right, we're going to get some gas here, and then we're going to head up to Cycle Gear in Omaha. Kurt, I hope you're excited to see us. But everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. We wait. <laughs> we'll not be able to race. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next time. And until next time, everybody stay cool. We will see you on the road. <laughs> the hell was that? <laughs> You're dancing now? <laughs> what the, the hell? This is staying in the video. That was funny, that's what that was.